Welcome to Chief Video. So now we're going to continue with question two in uh, computer science A2 level, paper 41, May, June 2021. All right. So I'm just going to fire up Visual Studio again. And then we're going to go into uh, the same uh, solution that I did in the paid question one. So if you guys haven't checked out question one, uh, you can check it out. Uh, I have it on my channel. And uh, so we're going to take this solution and then we're going to add a new module. So it's going to wait for this to load up. Okay, so I'm still going to add a new module by going to project, add module, and then choose module, click on add. Now it says module 3, but uh, for you guys, maybe it will show module 2, but it doesn't matter. So now we are in a new module, and then we can start by looking at our second question. It says, a program stores the following 10 integers in a 1D array with the identifier array data. So all these values here. Write program code for a new program to declare the global 1D array, array data with 10 elements and initialize array data in the main program using the data value showing. All right, so now I'm going to declare the global 1D array, which is outside of the main program. So here we're just going to type in the name, array, data, bracket. And then here you need to remember like what I mentioned in the first question, that is your array, the index will start from zero. So if let's say you have 10 values, that will be 10 minus 1, which is 9, or 0 to 9. We can also just use 9, which is really enough. So dim array data 9 as integer. Now let's go on to the main program. This is called sub main, right? And then initialize array data in the main program. So array uh, data is 0 equals to 10. And then we can move on with the following 9, eight, nine values. So I'm just going to copy and paste this combining times. And repeat it. All right, we'll change the data according to the paper. Let me change the values here. Okay, and then after that, we can just copy and paste this into our uh, uh, 2A, which is in our document here. Okay, paste that. I'm going to unload this thing. Right. And then B1, a function linear search takes an integer as a parameter and performs a linear search on array data to find the parameter value. If it is true, it was found and false, it was not found and write program code for the function linear search. Okay, so now let's just end up also the main function, uh, main main program and then type in the function. So this one will be function linear search. Okay, let me buy well our array data. Because we don't want to modify the contents of the array data, we just want to uh, take it and then use it, and then the data will remain the same even after we're moving back to the main program. So we use by well. So by well array data as integer, and then we need to take an integer as a parameter from I think supposedly from the main program. So here we just take um, let's say value value as integer. The right. And then here it says it wants to perform a linear search. So for i equals zero to i, remember the first index is zero. So then here we can use the if statement. If uh, value equals to array data i, then um, you can see here that before I proceed, you realize that under here, line 21, the end function here has a green line at the bottom because if you look at the error code, it says function linear search doesn't return the value of all code paths. To fix this problem, we need to declare a new Boolean variable. So then outcome as a Boolean. At first, we just put it as false. Okay. And then if value equals to array data, then outcome equals to true. Uh, and then here, you will change the outcome to true if let's say the value is found. Okay, but we haven't returned it. So to do that, just go to the end of the for 
loop and then go to and then enter a new line under line 21 so then here we'll just put return outcome and that's it okay and then we can just copy and paste this into our uh to be one so here okay and then to loop we need to edit the main program to allow the user to input the integer value pass the value to linear search as the parameter and i'll put a appropriate message so under array data 9 let's just enter and then get a new line line over for the deal so what we do here just need to type for so not right line then we put in a value declare a new variable so deem uh deem uh, uh, value as integer equals to console the brick line and then uh declare another value boolean this time then outcome as boolean equals linear search uh it's better to actually follow the name of the uh of the of the uh question given to ensure that you're able to get any LP uh, you know you're penalized for marks and all those so here just put linear search and then just put in array data and also our value okay so if outcome equals to false then also the right line output a message saying that the um, message is not asserted so a uh, message uh, the the data is not found so value is not found or this program not found if it's be simplified else if outcome equals to true then go to the right line value found and then and if we just have under that line number 22 just put console uh not read line okay so then this will then show the output in the command uh prompt that's going to show up later so if we start the program, so now we'll be able to input value. But before we do that, we need to copy and paste this into our paper. So let's go to copy. Uh, I'm just going to copy everything to make sure. OK, let's copy everything. So and to fit the paper, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. Okay, and now let's move on to to be tree. To be tree, just to provide one value that's in the array and one value that's not in the array, take a screenshot. So I'm gonna try number six. So let's gonna start the program. Okay, number six. Oh, value not find the array. Uh, okay, let me see. Um, Okay, so I made a mistake here. This should be already. Um, like, let's see. Let's prompt this. So, array data in your search. Are you? Okay, I think. What we do? Okay, try again. Should. Uh, oh, that's for the, uh, I actually made a mistake because uh, that was for module 2. I'm going to try module 3, this time it should work. Okay, so let's try 6 again. Value fouled. Right, so now we're just going to screenshot this and we just put it into our document. Here, but we need to provide two screenshots, one with the value in the array and one without the value in the array. So over here we see to copy it a little. Then we need to provide a screenshot without the value of the array. So let's see what values are in the array. I'm going to try number two. So let's try number two. Value not found. Okay, main screen. Into our document. 
Yeah, let's crop it. Right, so then we're done with to uh, be three. Now let's just do to see the following. I will also procedure algorithm source data and the array that is sending numerical order. There are five incomplete statements. Okay, so then now we need to create a new procedure. In this case, a new sub. Sub bubble sort. I wait. So now we need to declare um, with temporary yeah. and declare temporary as integer. So the having int review gel. There's only there's only um <clears throat> there's only one array here. It's array data. So here it's for x equals to better a bit. So we'll let's try this for x equals to zero to nine for y equals to zero to nine. If the array in this case is array data, if array data if array data y uh, equals uh, actually it's if let's say array data y is more than array Data y plus one. Then, okay. Again, you see, we have made a mistake because first of all, because here the maximum index is nine. So in let's say the array data here reaches nine, and then here it says nine plus one is array data ten. We do not have any value, so it will it, there will be an error. So here we need to change it to zero to to eight. Okay, and then if array data y is more than array data y plus one, then ten equals to Array data y array data y equals to array data y plus one array data y plus one equals to temp. Yeah, we'll end if then this one we can just put um because it says next y this one says next x. So with that, we are done with, yeah, we should, we should be done uh, with uh, sorting this. Right. Okay, so there's no need to actually uh, do any output. We just need to copy and paste this uh, procedure into our papers. Okay. Whoops. And try that again. Control C, Control V, right? So, this is the end of question two. So, I'm just gonna stop here because here you can see it's really question three. This one I'll do in the next video. So, uh, that's the end of uh, this video. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Do share this video out to other people who may need help with computer science, paper 41, uh, or yeah, any, any for people for it, uh, anything related to paper four. I hope to see you guys again in the next video, uh, which will be in question three. Till then, let's see if you goodbye.